our fathers gave us many laws, which they had learned from their fathers. These laws were good. They told us to treat all people as they treated us, that we should never be the first to break a bargain, that it was a disgrace to tell a lie, that we should speak only the truth, that it was a shame for one man to take another's wife or his property without paying for it. Chief Joseph Many Native American tribes went out of their way to steer clear of white settlers during the 19th century. But the Nez Perce people might have remained confined to historical obscurity if not for their willingness to establish ties with European adventurers, explorers, clergy, and settlers. By doing so, most notably assisting the Lewis and Clark expedition in 1805, the Nez Perce succeeded in not only bringing to light their ancient heritage, but staking their claim to their place in modernity. From their role in helping Lewis and Clark blaze a trail to the northwest Pacific coast in the early 19th century, to their modern-day roles in the fields of academics, politics, the arts and sciences, the Nez Perce people stand among America's most influential. Nez Perce literally means pierced nose in French, but it is unclear whether the tribe ever used nose piercing as a form of ornament. Today, the tribe is best known for being led by Chief Joseph in the late 19th century. When he died in 1904, most Americans who knew his people's story considered Chief Joseph, whose Nez Pierce name is Himatuyalapket, thunder rolling down from the mountains, a military genius and an Indian Napoleon. This assessment of the Native American leader was based on a 1,500-mile odyssey during which he and his people left their reservation in the hopes of escaping to Canada, where the Nez Pierce intended to join Sitting Bull and his Hunkpapa Sioux band. Perhaps it's not surprising that Chief Joseph, who was far more of a diplomat than military tactician, was misunderstood and misrepresented by Americans, because his people were misunderstood as well. By the middle of the 19th century, the Nez Perce was one of the strongest Native American groups in the Pacific Northwest, and they had maintained friendly relations with American settlers for several decades. Lewis and Clark had considered them so friendly and reliable that they left their horses with the Nez Perce as they loaded on to canoes and journeyed to the Pacific coast. But the Nez Perce's attitudes would soon change as the United States government began to coerce them to cede their traditional homeland to newly arriving white settlers and the Nez Perce began suffering a fate very similar to that of other Native American tribes to the east. Like the Sioux, the Cherokee, the Seminole, and other tribes, the Nez Perce became notorious among contemporary Americans for resisting their displacement and fighting the U.S. Army in the 1870s. Introductory Note Spelling of proper names of individuals, various Native American groups, and geographic locations can vary due to historical, cultural, and linguistic tradition. Additionally, while the term tribe is widely considered socially insensitive and historically inaccurate, it is applied here in deference to the Nez Perce Nation, which refers to itself as such. <laughs>